settling in on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat. Hands rest where they feel comfortable. Closing the eyes and letting the face relax. Starting to come into the breath, finding the inhale and the exhale. Breathing into the belly to fill it up. And then exhaling completely to let go. Inhaling to draw in energy, prana, vitality, good health. Exhaling to release completely tension, toxins, stress, old emotions, stale feelings. Inhaling to fill the belly. Exhaling completely. The next time you exhale, gently draw back a little bit at the low belly and lift up a little bit at the pelvic floor, the muscles at the base of the pelvis, starting to engage through the deep core. Inhaling to release and soften again. Exhaling to reconnect, low belly pulls back a little bit, pelvic floor draws up. So just starting to provide a little bit more strength, more support for the low back, helping you build a little bit more strength in the midsection and helping to improve your posture, seated and standing. Breath moves in, breath moves out. Belly rises. And exhaling that subtle contraction, low belly pulls back, pelvic floor draws up. Trying to maintain the sense of softness in the body. Jaw still soft, shoulders, hands, feet. Remembering that this is your practice, everything should feel safe, comfortable, and appropriate. If anything I suggest doesn't feel good, please just skip it and join up when you're ready. Walk the feet in closer together and pull one knee in towards your chest. Relax the hands, shoulders, and the face. Just sending a little bit more breath into the low back. Remember to follow the exhale out completely, trying to push all the breath out of the body, giving you lots of space for the next inhale. Don't worry about it if you catch your mind wandering away. You're totally normal. Keep using the next breath to pull you back in. Change this to a hamstring stretch. Straighten the leg up. Reach out through the heel. Hold at the back of the leg if it's comfortable. You don't have to straighten the leg completely though. For some bodies it will feel better just to maintain that sense of softness there. So the stretch might be strong at the back of the legs, but it shouldn't be so strong that it's uncomfortable. The spine still needs to stay long. Keep sending breath and space. Pick the other foot up and now let the legs move away from each other. So the working leg is still extended and out to the side. The leg that you've just drawn into it, that knee's bent. The hands can rest on the outside of the knees if that feels more comfortable, just a little bit more support there. It's okay if the stretches are strong. It's never okay if the stretches hurt. It's an indication to back off and come out. Bring the legs back in towards each other. The working leg now crosses ankle over the thigh. The back foot's back on the floor. Stretching the glutes, you could go a little bit deeper, picking the back foot up off the floor and drawing the legs in towards the chest, holding at the shins. Or one hand goes through the center, the other hand around the side. If this feels like it's too much, the back foot can stay down. Find the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Release the legs. Hug the other knee in towards the chest now. Feel that softness. Send breath into the body. You're always welcome to let the exhale out the mouth with an audible sigh. Aha! If that feels good, sometimes the sound helps you release a little bit more. Switch to the hamstring stretch, extend up, keeping the leg as comfortable as it needs to be. Reaching out through the heel. Find the breath.
Lift the other foot up, that knee's bent, legs move apart from each other. The extended leg can still have some softness in it, just to support the hamstring a little bit better. Keep finding something interesting in the breath to come back to. Bring the legs back together, back foot comes to the floor, the leg you're still working with crosses ankle over thigh. You can gently press the knee away with the hand or go a little bit deeper picking that back foot up. Still feel like the chin is moving a little bit closer towards the chest, the shoulders are coming away from the ears. So there's always this sense of softness and space in the body. Release the legs, stretch the arms out to the side, shift the hips a little bit one way and then let the knees drop in the other direction. Your hand might gently rest on the knees just to anchor them down a little bit more. Really allow yourself to drop into this twist. If you feel like you're kind of hovering, you might want to use blankets or pillows, some sort of prop so you're able to rest a little bit more. Breathe into chest and shoulders, torso and hips. Engage the abdominals, legs back through to center, even out the hips. Shift a little bit in the other direction. And then the knees drop down the other way. You might again use the hand to anchor. If it feels like the shoulders are jamming up towards the ears, you might just walk the shoulders down a little bit lower or even release the arm down a little bit lower. Allow gravity to do the work here. The shoulders are just able to open up. The collarbones can get wide, creating a sense of space across the body. Rolling over to the side where your knees are and press yourself up through to all fours, please. Bringing the knees underneath the hips, the wrists a little bit wider than the shoulders, fingers spread very wide. Engage abdominals and pelvic floor. Exhaling, dropping the head, push the low back up to the sky. And then inhaling, belly slides forward, little bit of an arch. Exhaling again, drop the head, low back pushes up. Inhale, slide into that gentle cow pose. Without moving the legs, feel like they're squeezing closer towards each other. Like you've got a block in between the knees. Take side cat, turn back and look towards the feet. Let the whole body lean to the side. You can bend the elbows more. You could sway the hips more if that felt comfortable. The body might be pretty creaky, pretty cracky, and that's fine. As long as there's no pain there, it's okay. Hold a little bit longer on this side, breathe into the side body. And then try that on the other side, really feel that breath move into the ribs, the torso. Lift one knee up and bring it towards its own elbow and then press it across the body, look back to the foot. Lift the knee up again, open the hip, press across and over. There's some work here, there's some work in your hip, both of them probably. Just moving at your own pace. Now stretch the leg out, coming into gate pose. Walk yourself up. Let the hand rest on the extended leg and the other arm stretches up and over. So coming into a side stretch. You won't get very far in this pose and that's fine. Send lots of breath into the side body.
come back up again and then drop the arm down to the other side. Now that other arm reaches up and over. So now way more space on the side. Breathe into the side body. Think about inhaling to radiate that breath, that energy out. And then exhaling, you're drawing back in. Low belly pulls back a little bit. Pelvic floor draws up a little bit. Inhale back through to center. And now both arms reaching forward. The inside arm, the one closest to your leg, that one stretches up and over. So the fingers now reach to the sky, taking a twist. Same sense of radiating the breath. Inhale to breathe out, open up. Exhale, pull back in. Low belly draws back. Pelvic floor draws up a little bit. Release back down again. Switch the legs. So coming into that hip opener here, pulling the knee on the other side across, and then over the body, land on the toes. Pull back, knee in the direction of the elbow, press across. Just stay in your appropriate range of motion. Your leg might not come very high, and that's fine. It doesn't matter. Come across again, and now open out to the side. Toes point forward or to the side. Walk yourself up. Let the hand rest on the thigh and the other arm stretches up and over. Take this gentle side stretch. Soften where you can the jaw, the eyes, breathing here. Release the other arm stretches up and over, maybe all the way to the side or maybe the fingers. Just continue to reach to the sky if that's more comfortable. Lots of length in the body, breathing into all this new space you're creating. Bring yourself back through to center and then leaning forward, both arms coming down. The inside hand, it stretches up right away. So you're twisting towards the extended leg. You're only looking up towards the hand if that feels safe on the neck. For some students, it makes more sense to look towards the side or down to the ground. Releasing that as you're ready, bring the leg back in. Settle back into child's pose, bringing the forehead down to the mat if possible. But if not, stack up your hands or your fists or use a prop so that your forehead can rest. Still that sense of the shoulders staying away from the ears. Filling the back of the body with breath. Bringing yourself towards a downward dog, hands spread forward and wide, tuck the toes under, push the weight up and back so the spine is long, head hangs down completely. Maybe walk out your dog, bend the knee one at a time, the other heel pushes a little closer to the floor. Settle back into downward dog. Come up onto the toes, bend the knees, look forward, step or lunge, the feet up towards the hands. Inhaling up about halfway, lots of length in the spine, exhaling to fold back down and now stay. Take the feet a little bit wider apart if that's more comfortable. Cup the elbows if it feels good. Shift more weight into the toes. Please feel free to bend the knees as much as you need this to make this more comfortable for you. Notice how the breath moves the body. It's never static. Release the hands, inhale up halfway again. Exhale, fold back down. Hands above the knees, round yourself up, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Take your time. Eventually stretching the arms out and way up to the sky. Clasp your hand and lean it to the side. Maybe the knees soften a little bit so the hip can kick out to the side. Feel the sense of space in the side body creating more and more throughout the practice. Come back up again, switch the clasp, lean to the other side. Shoulders drop down, softening the elbows a little bit can help you release the shoulders away from the ears. Keep coming back to the breath. Return to center, release the arms, hands through to prayer. Inhale, 
Release the hands back behind you, clasp them, interlace the fingers, lift the chest, look up slightly, tip forward. Let the head hang down, bend the knees as much as you need to. Take the feet a little wider apart if that's more comfortable. Let the shoulders roll forward as the arms reach up to the sky. Breath moves in, breath moves out. Release the hands. Clasp the big toes with your peace fingers and your thumbs wrap around. Inhale up halfway, exhale fold back down. Soften. Elbows flare out to the side to pull you down a little bit deeper. Softness in the knees. If that feels more comfortable, bend as much as you need to. Notice this extra length you're creating in the back of the body. Release the hands, soften down. One leg steps back for a lunge. Back knee can come to the floor if that's more comfortable. Keep the chest lifted, opening up through the shoulders. Eyes look where it's comfortable. Release into a hamstring stretch, so starting to walk the hips back. Heel stays on the ground, but the toes can lift. Lots of length in the spine here. Breathe. Keep the knee soft if that feels better. Release forward again. Bring the hands to the inside of that front leg. Walk yourself all the way around through a wide leg. You'll end up on the other side in your lunge. Soften the back knee down, drop the shoulders. Sense of length in the spine and softness in the jaw. At any point, you can open and close your mouth, shift the jaw around, make goofy faces. Shift back towards that hamstring stretch again. Feel the back body start to release and open. Come forward again. Back foot tucks under, knee lifts. Walk through to wide leg. Readjust your feet so your big toes turn in a little bit, heels turn out. It helps protect your back. Inhale up halfway and then exhale to fold down. Notice how the breath moves the body. Walk the hands back if you'd like. Keep tipping weight forward into the toes. Release the hands. Walk yourself forward, back into a lunge. Spread the hands wide, step back into your high plank position, reach out through the heels, fingers, spread wide, strong core, lower the knees, and then lower the body, leading with the chest. Stretch the legs back, inhale up a little bit for a cobra, shoulders away from the ears, or slide the hands back farther and come up for an upward dog, again, shoulders down. Pressing back towards all fours, drag the hands back. Tuck the toes, push up and back to downward dog. Or remember, you can always go back to that child's pose, knees down a little bit wider and the forehead down to the mat. Notice the sense of space in the back of the body. We've been creating more and more through the practice. Look forward, lunge the feet up towards the hands. Inhale to come up about halfway, exhale, fold back down again. Cup the elbows and inhale, stretch out and up to the sky. The hands come back down to prayer. Release the hands. Pick up one knee and step it back, medium wide stance. Back foot turns out just a little bit, front toes face forward. Inhale, stretch up, relax the shoulders, bend into the front knee. You should be able to see the tip of your big toe in the front foot. If you can't, you might need to go a little bit wider. Ankle and knee should be in the same line here to help protect the knee. Shoulders coming away from the ears. You can find that with a bend in the elbows, a U shape in the arms. Stretch the legs, release your arms, step your back foot in a little bit closer. Hips still point forward. Arms stretch to the side, flip the thumbs down, reach back. 
can take the elbows if possible or the wrists or the forearms. Inhaling up and exhale, fold forward into pyramid pose. The spine's long here and the drishti or the gaze point is at your big toe on your front foot. This is a pretty deep stretch. You might not have to go very far to get a lot of stretch and that's fine. Release the hands, let the fingers come down towards the floor, and then extend the back leg up to the sky. Bend both knees if you need to. This is called standing split. It's a pretty big stretch. Don't worry about keeping the hips square. That's not the point. It's more about this extension you can get in the body. A little bit of balance here to help to challenge, and build strength in your legs. Release that leg down. Adjust the feet bend the knees and walk or sway a little bit from side to side if that feels comfortable. Notice the length in the back body. Notice the breath. Back through to center. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold back down again. And then lift, stretch your arms out to the side, reach all the way up to the sky. Big breath in. Exhale, hands come back down through to prayer. Release the hands. We'll take the sequence on the other side. The other knee lifts and then step it back. Medium wide stance. The hips point forward. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Drop the shoulders. Bend into the front knee. Feel like the back hip is trying to make its way towards the front knee. Adjust your feet if you need a larger stance. The back leg's quite extended. The outside edge of the foot and the heel pushes down, front leg's pretty bent, toes are relaxed. Feel this extra space we're creating in the hip flexors, the hip creases. Straighten up, release the arms, back foot steps forward, similar stance, hips still point forward. Arms stretch out, flip the thumbs down, reach back, elbows, forearms, wrists, whatever's comfortable. Lower down, lengthen through the spine. Both knees can be a little bit soft so that you're not hyperextending. Keep feeling like the hips are even, so it's like the front hip could draw back a little bit and the back hip could draw slightly forward. Release the hands down to the ground, shift the weight into the front leg, extend the back leg. Soften that back leg as much as you need to. Let the head hang down completely. You could experiment with your balance by lifting one arm, Maybe try the other, or just keep the fingers down on the ground. Breath is smooth, steady, and prominent. Release that leg down. Inhale up halfway. Exhale to fold. And then stepping back, just straight into your downward dog. Find that length in the spine. Feel the warmth in the body. Lower the knees down. Bring yourself on towards your seat, please. One leg extends out, the other leg tucks in. Walk the hips back a little bit so the base of the pelvis moves behind you. Let the hand drop down along the leg. The other arm stretches up and over. Let the arm gently push against the leg to open through your torso. It's way more about creating space in the body than getting down really low. So back off a little bit if you need to, shoulders drop down. Keep breathing into the side body. Inhale to bring yourself up, turn towards the leg. Inhale up halfway, exhale fold down. Notice how the spine is really long. You're leaning forward from the hip creases. The bottom of the pelvis still feels like it's pulling back slightly. This will keep it safe for your back. Keep drawing back slightly on the low belly and the pelvic floor to help protect the back. Bring yourself back up again. Switch legs. Draw the pelvis back. Hand rest gently on the leg. Inhale, the other arm stretches up and over. And it's about the length, it's not about the depth of the stretch.
keep filling the body with breath. Keep bringing your mind to the breath when it wanders. Inhale up, turn to the leg, one hand on either side. Find the length, exhale, fold. Base of the pelvis continues to move behind you. You're folding forward from the hip creases. If this causes any crankiness on the low back, come up higher. Maybe you don't need to go forward at all. Breath is smooth and steady, ever present. Inhale to bring yourself up. Bring the legs in towards a diamond shape towards butterfly pose. Bottom of the pelvis still moves back behind you. Hands rest where they're comfortable. Inhale up for length. Exhale to start to draw yourself forward. You can tuck the chin slightly if that feels comfortable. Just notice that there's still this length in the spine. It's not about going low. It's about maintaining length, keeping the back safe. The shoulders stay well away from the ears. Bringing yourself up, take a different variation, tortoise. The legs go out a little bit further, more like a diamond. Inhale up and then kind of round in a little bit. Let the head drop down. Then let the body lean forward. Maybe the hands can sneak underneath the shins. Palms can be up or down or even reach towards the tops of the feet. If this feels like it's too much on the hamstrings, and for some students it is, you might go back to the first pose that we did. The butterfly one as opposed to this tortoise pose. If this posture is comfortable, you're able to get a little bit more into the spine because the head drops down. As always though, whatever suits you, I'm just offering suggestions. We hold a little bit longer in this forward fold, if that's comfortable. Notice how you can use the breath to get into these tight areas in the body filling them up with space, with breath. As you're ready, release the arms, bringing yourself back up again. Bring the legs back in. Go a little bit forward towards the front of the mat and then roll onto your back. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Maybe take happy baby bent knees down towards the armpits, flexed feet up towards the sky. You could stay just like this, or if it's comfortable, some students like to rock a little bit from side to side. Long hold here, lots of breath, lots of softness. Starting to wind down the practice. If you're starting to cool down, make sure you're grabbing layers at any point. Release the legs down, arms stretch out to T position. Shift the hips a little bit in one direction. Cross the outside leg over and let the knees drop down. This twist is a little bit deeper. If you'd like to turn your head away from your knees, you can, but only if that's safe in your neck. And with the leg crossed over, it tends to get a little bit more into the hips and the low back. Of course, if that's uncomfortable, just keep the legs uncrossed, just like the one we did in the beginning. Bring the head back through to center, arms to the ground, press into the ground, back through to center, release the hips. Shift a little bit in the other direction, outside leg crosses over, and the knees drop down to the other side. Head could turn away if it's safe for the neck, shoulders dropping down away from the ears. Sending breath into the shoulders, chest, torso, the hips. Really focus on the exhale here, letting the breath release completely. Bring the head back through to center. 
Arms push down into the ground, legs, back through to center, release the hips and even them out. Preparing for Shavasana, arms, palms face up a little bit out from the body. Legs extended if it's comfortable, but you could bend the knees. You can always cover yourself with a blanket if you're starting to cool off. Let the eyes sink back into the skull, jaw softens. Collarbones open up wide, hips just melt into the floor. Awareness rests on the breath. And let the abdominals on the pelvic floor be totally relaxed. Each exhale takes you down a little bit deeper. And we rest. Bring some awareness back to your body. Inhale, get stronger and add a little bit of movement. Eventually roll to your side and you might take a few more breaths here. No rush. Push yourself up to come to a comfortable seated position. Bring the hands together at prayer, let the head drop down. Thank yourself for taking this time out of your day for your practice. Thank your body for all its hard work. Namaste.